We do Ricardo. Okay, Ricardo, you're gonna be the you're gonna be Michael's uh, uncle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Ricardo, you're the uncle of Michael. Okay. So Michael is my trainee. Yes. So let's just say we're sitting down, etc. Michael, go ahead and edify. So and then um, I'm gonna go into a report and stuff like that. Yeah. Favorite uncle, right? The only final thing to uh, um, this is Alan. Basically, he is the main broker here that runs the agency. And, you know, he is quarterly well known in the company. He's one of the top insurance agents. And basically, he's helped a lot of families and has trained a lot of agents and is my personal mentor. So, thank you, uh, you know, for helping me out with the training. But thank you, Alan, so much for your time. Hey, thank you, bro. <laughs> um, I want to thank him. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yes, okay, cool. Thank you, okay, perfect, right? So edification happens, okay, very simple. And you, cool, awesome. So Ricardo, right? Yes. Yes, awesome. So how, so so you're you're his uncle. Yes. Really? Yes. From the dad side or the mom side? Mom side. Really? Okay, cool. So mom side. So basically, uh, mom side, you're the brother, that kind of deal. Is that what yes. it is? Got it. Cool deal. So 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 is Michael your favorite nephew? Not for sure. For sure. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. So, hey, Michael, you got to come through with that for your uncle, huh? Yeah. By the way, guys, this is this is cool right here because it's laughter, etc. Like, I try to make, I just want to make him laugh as soon as possible. If you can make him laugh, awesome. Why? Because I want that person to like me. If they like me, guess what? They're going to have more trust in me. Make sense? So, you see how that happened? That was natural, right? That's just because I'm good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But anyway, no, it's just like, you know, do that. I mean, I know we're kind of playing around here, but in a, in a reality, like, you should be kind of doing that in the field. Because you're going to kind of, like, lower the, you know, guard up and everything kind of deal. Yeah, yeah, you told me he's going to, you know, he's going to give me some, buy me some dinner after this. Okay, Michael, you got to keep your word, bro. You told your uncle you did. Like, we're going to take him to Texas Roadhouse House or what? Get him a steak? Right? <laughs> you're going to go to Mas Mastro's? Wow, cool. Okay, cool. Right? Whatever it is, right? Guys, just have fun with it there. Because I want to be able to bring down the guard as soon as possible. Okay? So, perfect. Cool deal, right? So, I'm not going to get into family or anything. I'm going to ask him a little bit later on that. So, of course, for me, it's just like I start off with that, that kind of deal. So, so whatever you want to, guys, it's just rapport, like, you know, that kind of deal. You can even start off like, cool, perfect, cool deal. So, you're going to go take him to dinner, right? Okay, cool. So, hey, Ricardo, just a serious question for you, Ricardo, right? Serious question. You guys don't have to use this, guys, but an example. Serious question. Are you a cat's person or a dog's person? Dog? Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought so. Dog. I think Michael is a cat person, so I'm not sure, right? Guys, it's like just building rapport and kind of like making them feel comfortable. Yes? So, of course, that happens. So, so tell me, Ricardo, I guess what has uh, Michael told you so far about the purpose of today? Where am I at? Number three. Not, not a whole lot to be honest. He didn't tell you much? He just told you, like, hey, show he up and that's it? For, for some help, so. He just told you he's going to feed you and that's yeah. it, right? He, he showed up? He asked for help and that there was going to be a free dinner involved. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect ones. Man, I wish I had a nephew like that. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, yeah, so basically Michael just got started just re recently with us. He's working on getting his license. He's doing some classroom training, hands-on training. So he's going to serve him to be able to help out families and so, forth, so on and so forth. But he's got to learn how to be able to do it. So he's going to learn from me because eventually he's going to be sitting down with trainees and so on and so forth to train them. But at the same time, he's going to be able to talk to families and basically learn exactly what I'm going to be doing today. So I appreciate your time for taking some time here today for helping out Michael, your, your nephew, with this. This is definitely going to help him out, but I'm sure you're going to provide value for you too. Okay. Is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions, Ricardo, so I can provide the most value for you today? Sure. Okay. Guys, where am I at? Right here. Is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions so I can provide the most value for you today? Yes? Yes. There you go. You see how it flowed? Okay. <laughs> Should be getting excited. I'm gonna give you some nuggets here. Okay, the transition. It's because how do you transition to that island? I'm literally giving you exactly how to transition to the next part. Okay, so now I'm gonna say, okay, cool. So what is what is it that you're currently do now? I work at Circle K. Circle K. Awesome, cool deal. I actually just went to Circle K the other day. But anyway, <laughs> cool. So so that's what you do now. Okay, how long have you been doing that for? A couple of years. Now. Couple of years. Got it. What do you enjoy most about it? I uh, just interacting with people every day. Interacting with people, meeting people, something like that. Yeah. Got it. Is there anything that you would change or alter that you know we would like for it to be different? The hours are a little weird. The hours are a little bit weird. Like it's all over the place or what? Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Perfect. And then basically, when you make decisions, as far as like uh, you know any kind of decisions for your family kind of deal, is that something that you consulted somebody or you can do those decisions yourself? Yeah. Got it. Cool. So I mean, just a question for you, Ricardo. Is it, Ricardo? Is is if you were able to be able you know be able to have uh, uh, 
being able to uh, meet more new people, but at the same time, also uh, have more control of your time and you know your schedule kind of deal. Is that something that you would be open to? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Perfect. And what would you say is the most important thing in life right now? Uh, definitely my my family. Your family? Like uh, like family. When you say family, like is it parents and stuff, or is it like wife and kids, or uh, my wife? Really? How many children do you guys have? Just two. Two? Got it. Boy, girl? Little boy? Boy, girl. Really? Okay, cool. How old are they? Uh, 18 and 11. 18 and 11? Yeah. What's, what's, uh, what are the names? Uh, RJ and Victoria. RJ and Victoria? Yeah. Okay. So RJ is an 18-year-old and then Victoria is an 11-year-old? Yeah. Got it. You guys plan to have more? That's it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Track to be close, huh? No more. That's it. That's crazy. Okay. Cool. <laughs> And as far as any, you guys have any like as a family? Do you guys? <laughs> Michael. <laughs> so as far, <laughs> Michael's like cracking at me. Okay, cool. So as far as uh, it's like as far as the family, Ricardo, what, you know, <laughs> you guys, you guys have any like, <laughs> you guys have any short term or long term goals? <laughs> Stop it, Michael. You guys have any short term or long term? <laughs> You guys have any short-term, long-term goals as family that you guys want to be able to accomplish, like maybe buying a new house or bigger home or traveling, any hobbies or any new cars, something like that? No, nah, probably just, you know, working on our home and, and hopefully traveling and, you know, just getting rid of the kids, you know, definitely on travel. Okay, so getting rid of the kids to go to travel more. <laughs> Did you say working at, working in the house, like being able to, like, uh, remodel? Yeah, or? just remodel stuff like that. Cool. What's keeping you guys from being able to remodel and travel more? Uh, probably more than anything right now, income. Income? Got it. Cool. I mean, just a random question for you, Ricardo. I mean, if the money were right and it didn't interfere with what you already do at this point, you'd be up to making more money, right? Yeah, I'd be willing to listen. Got it. Okay, cool. Perfect. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. You know, a little bit about myself. I come from background of IT, computer service technology. I used to work for, for a school district for 10 years. My wife was an accountant. She used to work for a real estate company for five years. And uh, before we got started into this industry, uh, one of the biggest things for us is that we kind of felt limited where we were working at because we, we wanted to have control of two things, which is time and income. And we knew that if we kept working where we were at, we would never have that control of time and income. And somebody would always tell us when to clock in, when to clock out. And of course, somebody would always tell us how much we're worth as far as how much we're gonna get paid. We couldn't ask for a raise every single week, you know what I mean? And so for the biggest thing for us that we felt kind of limited. So we wanted to do something more. So we decided to you know, keep our options open, kind of fell into this, this company as far as the industry. Never saw myself doing this. I don't come from this background, but I saw an opportunity that I could actually have control of the two things that I wanted most, which is control of time and income. So we started on a part-time basis, earning extra income, an extra thousand or three thousand. My wife went full-time eventually in the business, opened up her office. Eventually, I went full-time in the business. Now we're working this business together, building a, a legacy for ourselves, building something for ourselves rather than for somebody else. But the biggest thing is that we now have more of the control time and income that we wanted most. So I kind of feel like we now have more of that freedom. And what we're looking to to do is to be able to build more offices. We already have one in El Paso, Las Cruces, Santa Fe. We're looking to be able to build you know 10 offices in the next five years at the end of the day. And being able to build something for ourselves rather than for somebody else and just have to keep having that control time and income. So, but uh, with that being said, of course, Ricardo, I mean, I can talk about one or two things today. I can talk about an opportunity to be able to make more income. So that way, maybe you can use that to be able to uh, be able to uh, uh, make that extra income so you can travel more and have those kinds of things for you and your family. Or two, I can talk about financial concepts and ideas. Which would you prefer to listen to? Opportunity or the financial concepts and ideas? Honestly, talk a little bit of both. Right? Of course. Of course, you would say that. Yes. I know. I just say, yes, say. I see me pasa, right? Anyway, so say hybrid, a little bit of both. All right. I want an opportunity. All right. But let's just say financial cups and ideas. I'm going to go what? Field training. So let's say field training because obviously that's what we're going. Uh, concepts. Financial concepts and ideas. Okay, great. Perfect. So cool deal. So, so with that, of course, Ricardo, I want you to see this presentation in three sets of eyes. Okay. One is an opportunity. Like, of course, if you or anybody that you know that is looking to be able to make more income, I'll tell you what 30 do so you can earn income to use it for whatever it is at the end of the day. Those will be great referrals or people you can send over to Michael because he's definitely, you know, uh, building up his agency and he can staff it, you know, at the end of the day. Two is if you have any questions in regards to what we talk about, the more questions, the better it is training for Michael. And three is if you know anybody that could benefit from our services, those will be great referrals also for Michael. Got it? Okay, so let me open up my presentation. Let me show you exactly who we are, what we do. Got it? I know it's fast and everything. My two-minute story was like fast, but I'm just trying to get through it, you guys. The whole point is going through the process. Let me go over it again, you guys. I'm not going to do the two-minute story. That's I just kind of gave you my two-minute story. You guys have your two-minute story, but let me go through it so you guys can get the hang of it again. 
Then I'm going to have somebody practice it. Then we're going to break out, practice, drill, rehearse. Okay. So here we go. It's in the beginning. Hi, Ricardo. So, so, so of course. So how do you and uh, Michael know each other? Uh, Is your nephew? Yeah. Really? From the mom side or dad side? Mom. Mom. Moms. Yeah. Got it. Are you guys all like Cowboys fans or what kind of fans are you guys for some football? No. No Cowboys. Great. We can be best friends today. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I made them laugh. Yes. Yes. There you go. Okay. So of course, in that case, of course. Okay. Cool. Perfect. So what has uh, Michael told you so far about the purpose of today? Actually, not a whole lot. He just promised me dinner. And really? And he needed some help, so that's why I'm here. Okay, cool. Perfect, man. I wish I had an nephew like that. We're just taking a dinner just by, you know, you know, the, for helping him out. I'll let you borrow him. Okay, cool. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> definitely. I'll, I'll definitely use him and abuse him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, so of course, so, uh, so yeah, so basically, Michael just got started with us just recently, and he's went to some classroom training, getting uh, some hands-on training for working on getting his license to the state to do what we do. So this is going to serve him as one of the hands-on training because eventually he's going to be doing what I'm doing or basically training a brand new agent. So I appreciate your time for taking out time out of your day for helping out Michael with his training. Okay. Uh, and definitely, uh, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to provide a lot of value to you today too as well. Okay. But is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions so I can provide the most value for you today? Sure. Yes. Okay, cool. Perfect. So, so tell me, I guess, Ricardo, what do you currently do now? For work? Yeah, work at Circle K. Circle K? Really? How long have you been doing that for? A couple of years. A couple of years? What do you enjoy most about it? interaction really just like meeting people and stuff like that yeah okay cool and uh is there anything that you would change or alter you know basically working there at circle k yeah the hours are bad the hours are pretty bad yeah. like you work with graveyards and stuff or what is it uh, yeah it's on you know graveyard mornings and practice really holidays you name it. got it cool perfect so so at the end of the day, like when you as far as uh, when you start making decisions, as far as like, you know, stuff for your family kind of deal, like do you have to consult with anybody or you do those decisions yourself sometimes? For the most part on my own. On your own? Yeah. Okay, cool. So there was a way that you can actually be able to have, uh, what did you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, you've been able to interact with people, being able to meet new people and kind of that kind of deal, but at the same time make more income kind of deal. Is that something that you'd be open to learning more about? Yeah, of course. Or you'd be open to something like that, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Perfect. So, and what do you think uh, for you and your family, I guess, uh, or for you personally, if you need Ricardo, what is the most important thing in your life right now? Wife and your kids, yeah. okay. So, of course, if he says family, guys, I'm gonna be like, okay, when you say family, you mean like parents and stuff, or we're talking about like wife and kids. I like to ask it because I'm finding out about what their family got it. So, you say, oh, okay, uh, my, my wife and my kids, okay, great, really. So, you guys, how many kids do you guys have? Two. two, got it, boy, girl, girl, boy, really. What are their ages? 18, 11, really. And what are their names? Uh, RJ and Victoria, RJ and Victoria. So, RJ's older, and then Victoria's old, yeah. the youngest. Okay, cool. You guys plan to have any more? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Factory closed? Yeah. No more. No more. Okay, cool. <laughs> you just never know, right? It's like, you know. <laughs> but, uh, and what would you say for, like, let's say for you and your family or you and your wife, Ricardo, what would you say are some of your short term, long term goals that you guys have financially? Let's just say an example buying a new house or, or buying a, uh, uh, or buying a bigger house, traveling, maybe some hobbies or buying a new car and like that. Maybe savings for the future. Just working like on our home and traveling. Okay, so traveling more and working on your home, like you mean like renovating or yeah, re renovations? Yeah, mm -hmm. what's keeping you from being able to do that? Like Probably travel and all that? Find more income than anything. More income? Yeah. Got it. Got it. So, if, I mean, just a random question for you, Ricardo. If the money were right and it didn't interfere with what you already do, right, you'd be up, open to making more money, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. So, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Then I send my two minute story. Finish it. I like to do the two-minute story there because I'm going to give them an opportunity. Hey, I have not controlled my time and income. So guess what? They'll be like, well, I want to know about this too. So let's just say I finish my two-minute story and I basically give them. Cool. So I can take this presentation one of two ways, Ricardo. One, I, I can talk about an opportunity to be able to make more income where it can help you uh, make, it, make, make more money so you can travel more or do the things that you want to be able to do. Maybe uh, save up faster so you can renovate your house. Or two, I can talk about financial concepts and ideas that we share to our clients. Which one would you prefer to listen to? Opportunity or financial concepts and ideas? Financial concepts and ideas? Okay, perfect, cool. So I want you to see this presentation in three sets of eyes, Ricardo. One is opportunity. If you are, or anybody that you know that is looking to be able to make more income or save up more for the future or something like that, those would be great referrals that you can always send over to Michael and see, you know, obviously if we can work together at the end of the day. Two, if you have any questions, the more questions you ask, the better uh, uh, training, you know, it'll be for Michael as far as asking his questions. Three is if you know anybody that could benefit from our services, those would be great before we can send to Michael too.
Great, perfect. Let me show you what exactly what it is that we do. You guys got it? I just gave it to you again, you guys. That was the second time. Okay. Does anybody need me to repeat anything in any section, transition, or anything? Or you guys all have it and you guys can do it right now. 